Hello there, fellow Scorpios. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot forecast for the week of March 28th through April the 3rd. What we have going on on Monday, we have the Ace of Swords showing up, which just means this is an epiphany. We have a fantastic idea coming in. This is one of those aha moments where whatever comes in, it just feels like, oh, the light has gone on. Woohoo! I get it now. So that's a fantastic card to come in for a Monday. Tuesday, we have another fantastic card. This is the Six of Clubs. The Six of Clubs just tells me that there is a project that we have been working on that not only benefits ourselves, but also benefits other people as well. And when we see this come in, what's going on is those other people who are benefiting from that project you've been putting in so much work and effort to, they are going to be letting you know, expressing their appreciation for the work that you've been putting in on that project. Cool card to have come up. Wednesday, <laughs> five of clubs showing up. Five of clubs just means there's some kind of competition going on. And when I see the card come in upright, that tells me that this competition is actually something that is probably a healthy competition. Probably. <laughs> There's a couple of ways that this could come in. So for everyday mundane type life, this could be um, a healthy competition. This could be something like um, running a marathon, or this could be like um, having a competition with people in the office to see who can do the most production, or um, this can be... Mm, this can be really anything. This can be a, you know, this can be a volleyball game. This can be a hockey game. I don't know what's in season now. Basketball maybe, um, but this can be any kind of competition. I do feel like uh, this is not something where you are the spectator. I feel like you're involved in it, and it's a healthy competition. So it's a cool thing. Uh, for some of you, okay, I want to take back that spectator thing. For some of you, you're going to be watching um, a child in a competition on Wednesday. Okay, so let's move forward from the, oh wait, here's the other way that it can come in. If this card shows up in a love reading, so if this is applying to your love life, Scorpios, this would be talking about that you have some competition with that person that um, is a love interest to you. So in other words, you're not the only person in the picture for them, okay? So that can be how it's coming up too. So it's going to be coming in different ways. Um, and also, I want to remind everybody, this is a general reading, so not everything is going to apply to every single Scorpio that watches this video. My request from sac for sacred, spir sacred Spirit, <laughs> let me slow down and talk, is that the majority of stuff that comes in will apply to the majority of Scorpios who watch. Now, obviously, not everybody can be in the majority all the time. So, how do you know if it's yours or not? Usually, if it's yours, it'll resonate. You'll feel it. If it doesn't resonate, it's probably not yours. No worries. Let it go. Okay? All right. So, on Thursday, what we have coming up, Scorpios, is we do have the Six of Swords. This just means that we are taking something and leaving it behind. Um, this can actually be something big, like a relationship or a situation that was really dragging us down. Also, this can be um, something like a negative thought pattern or a negative behavior that we're moving away from and working on something that is better for us. Um, when I see the Six of Swords show up, that tells me that we have made progress in getting away from whatever was that negative influence in our lives, but we don't really yet know what the new normal is going to look like. So that's what I see coming up for us for Thursday. For Friday, what we have showing up is we have a Four of Swords in Reverse. Four of Swords in Reverse just means new location, different location for something that we're doing on Friday. So normally if we work from home, maybe we're running into the office on Friday. Uh, maybe we are um, working outside instead of in the home. Maybe we are taking a child to a different daycare. Maybe um, we have some kind of meeting that we normally have and we have it in a different location. Um, but something is happening in a different location on Friday. That's the bottom line for us. Now, we have actually some pretty good cards all week. What do you think about that, Scorpio? <laughs> How did that happen to us? <laughs> Saturday, what we have is the world card in reverse. The world card in reverse just means that there are some goals, some dreams, some targets that you're trying to bring into your life, that you want to manifest in your life. 
And when the World card comes in, in, even in reverse, it's a very encouraging card because it is saying that those dreams are going to be coming true, uh, but just not right now. So the encouragement is keep holding on to those dreams. Don't let them go. Just keep taking one step at a time to get towards them because those dreams are coming your way too. And um, eventually we'll meet in the middle and we'll have our dreams. Now, bum ba dum bum Sunday. Page of Cups. We are receiving a message of love from somebody in our lives. This can be anything from an engagement ring, chocolates, flowers, all the way down to something that a preschooler has drawn at preschool that says, I love you, mommy, or you're my favorite neighbor, or whatever. Uh, messages of love can come in all different shapes and sizes and forms. Bottom line is we're going to be receiving one from somewhere on Sunday. Let's appreciate it, even if it's not that diamond engagement ring or whatever it is that we're hoping for. <laughs> a message of love is a good thing no matter how you slice it. Okay, so Scorpios, that is our week. Thank you everybody for stopping by, for hanging out, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. Everyone have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will see you guys here the next time. Have a fantastic week, I should say. Anyway, peace out.